Just about everyone involved in nutrition or fitness is obsessed to some degree with superfoods or supplements. We put these things on a pedestal and envision it as something that will make us like super healthy, feel amazing, yet reality is when you eat these foods, do you feel amazing? And no, I don't mean the sugar rush from your berry smoothie in the morning. Cod liver out of any food lives up to this. I'm sure everyone has a story of their grandmother getting a tablespoon of cod liver shoved down her throat when she was growing up as a kid, and there's good reason. We used to use cod liver to prevent rickets, uh, specifically cod liver oil, and rickets is a vitamin D3 deficiency. But cod liver doesn't only contain vitamin D, it literally contains every vitamin our body needs. Giving cod liver oil to children during developmental stages of life ensures that they're getting enough vitamin A, vitamin D3, vitamin K2, they're getting plenty of omega-3 fatty acids, they're getting iodine, nutrients that are essential for growth and skeletal development. What cod liver oil is missing is really a B vitamin content. But if you have canned cod liver, as we do today, there is no food on this planet that is more nutrient dense than fish liver. Beef liver is a super nutrient dense food, but it does not come close to the omega-3 fatty acid content of fish liver. And we have things like fish eggs that are great sources of omega-3 fatty acids, but liver has an incredibly high vitamin A content as well. If you could only choose one food to use as a nutritional supplement, cod liver would get you just about everything you need. And depending on whether you use the oil or canned cod liver will dictate the protein amount, therefore the B vitamin amount. The real reason I talk about cod liver so much is because I think it's delicious. And yes, you guys have seen me put some nasty stuff in my mouth. And no, I'm not talking about uh, those dirty girls we have in New York City. Uh, I'm talking about eating raw brains, raw liver. You know, so whenever I taste something and say it's good, I'm inclined to believe that you guys don't trust me. But listen, I've worked as a catering chef in the past. I know when a food genuinely tastes good and is enjoyable. And out of every single liver product I've had, cod liver tends to taste the best. And I mean, fish liver in general is super tasty. And the reason for this is uh, what we spoke about a couple videos ago. When a food has a certain nutrient profile, each nutrient in the food dictates how it tastes. So if a food has a complete nutritional profile, the vitamin A is giving it a certain flavor, the omega-3 fatty acids are giving it a certain flavor. I'm sure you guys have tasted grass-fed beef that might have tasted fishy before. That's because of a specific nutrient in the food. And when you have a food that literally has the highest nutrient content in all aspects possible, it makes sense that it's naturally delicious. Here I have two cod liver products. This is Rugenfisk, a German brand that is Norwegian cod liver. And here we have another brand that I see around a lot. This is from Icelandic cod liver. Uh, this is the one I'm currently offering on Frankie's Free Range Meat. I will speak about that later. Uh, but we're going to taste these side by side and I'm going to give you my honest opinion. Usually these products are fairly similar, but there is a difference in salt content and sometimes uh, they do season the fish. The amount of calories in these cans is insane. This is 800 calories of cod liver. What's amazing to me is just by having one or two of these cans every single week, you get all the nutrients your body needs essentially. So if you spend anywhere from 200 to $300 on you know maybe 50 to 100 cans of cod liver, that's all you need for the year. Then you can just have you know, whatever else you want. That's what I like so much about this. I used to buy these from a Russian grocer in Brooklyn, and then when they stopped carrying these, uh, I couldn't get them anymore, but now, Frankie's got them. Cod liver is almost always packed in its own oil. I've actually never seen it packed in vegetable oil or anything. Uh, so the Reuben Fisk on the right has, you know, a lighter color. Looks like it wasn't heated as much. The oil is a bit lighter. And this on the left, you know, a little bit of discoloration, not really sure what that's from. All right, so I'm going to taste this one first. And a nice, big, pink piece. Looks good. This is crazy. This is like 
it doesn't make any sense when you taste it. The texture is like jello and the flavor is just indescribable. It's so fatty, it's rich, it doesn't really have much of a fishy flavor. It doesn't even taste like fish. I can't describe this. In the past, I always used to say that cod liver was my favorite food. And I stopped saying that, I guess, because I haven't had it in a while. But this is like, it's insane how good this tastes. What the fuck? This is like, I'm going to get fat. All right, so this one, pretty good, very delicious. A lot of you guys ask me, like, can I drink the oil? You can. I mean, I personally don't like drinking cod liver oil from the can, but if you want to get the nutrients, you can. I'm not saying you should, or you, like, you're not really wasting much. All right, so now I'll try the other one. It's not as pink colored, but it still has a little bit of a pink tinge to it. This is really different. I'm trying to tell what that new flavor is from. The second cod liver had a similar taste, of course, because it's cod liver, but it was more complex. Like I could taste more of the ocean, almost like more iodine, more depth of flavor. Both of them incredibly delicious. Same almost jello-like consistency, amazing texture. If you guys haven't tried cod liver, whether you decide to buy it from me or not, I really encourage you to try it. Uh, we're selling the Rugen Fisk on Frankie's Free Range Meat dot com uh, international as well so regardless of where you guys are you can go to frankie's free range meat dot com look under the add-on sections or the internationally available section and order yourselves some cod liver we will be exploring some other brands in the future uh, trying to find the best one and our end goal is to make some ourselves. you know i believe that cod liver is a really delicious the healthiest food there is and if we're able to get a fresh product in handle it with care and provide it to everyone at a better quality that hasn't been done before, that would be awesome. And just to briefly go over the nutrient profile of cod liver again, retinol, the animal form of vitamin A, is only present in high amounts in liver. So we're checking that box. Cod liver, as all wild fatty fish livers, has a decent vitamin D3 content. Of course, you have to obtain vitamin D3 from the sun, but it's arguably the food that has the highest vitamin D3 content as well. Not only that, it contains iodine, it contains high amounts of omega-3 fatty acids, it contains vitamin K2, as all liver contains vitamin K2, it has minerals, it has elements, it has high amounts of B vitamins. It's absurd how many vitamins this food has. Not only that, the vitamins that it has are very hard to obtain in most cases. A lot of people have a hard time getting their DHA in, getting their omega-3s in. A lot of people can't get their vitamin A in. They're having an issue with iodine. This really is the ultimate solution. It's why I love this food so much. So if you guys would like to uh, support my future vision of being able to provide fresh cod liver as well as our homemade canned cod liver, uh, check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com. You don't necessarily have to buy the cod liver, uh, but check out our mission. We're looking to do a bunch of other things in the future as well, such as getting you guys raw dairy, uh, wild game meats, really just any high quality nutrient dense animal food that people could want at an affordable price. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for joining me today. If you can please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon and share it if you can. I did a bunch of other videos in the past on cod liver, so you guys can feel free to check those out as well. I've talked about you know, oxidized fish oil in the past. I've touched on just about everything. So I think I did two other videos. Uh, so if you guys do want to learn more, you can check those out or better yet, leave a comment down below. Frankie Boy reads every single one. Again, thank you guys for joining me and enjoy the rest of your weekend. I mean, I'm not the kind of guy to make any threats. So I'm inclined to believe that, you know, cod liver tastes pretty good. So 
if I was to force feed someone cod liver because they did not purchase it from me, I don't think that would be a crime. I, th I think cod liver is such a delicious food that if you were to force it down someone's throat, then, hey, we'll leave that up to the judge.